we actually got the latest I, um, the latest device from Apple, the iPad, on Saturday, the 32 gigabyte version, and we disassembled it so that we can analyze the hardware that's inside it, what powers it, and what that means for consumers. The batteries in this are about um, just more, just over five times the uh, physical size and capacity of the batteries in the previous mobile device, the Apple iPhone 3GS. The biggest consumer of battery life on a lot of mobile devices, and especially on this one, is going to be that LCD screen. So if you make that eight times the size, that LCD is going to take eight times as much power. So you need a lot more battery to power that. Uh, batteries will be fairly low cost still, um, probably in the in the six to eight dollar range. As far as the LCD screen goes, we still have to figure out exactly who makes um, each LCD screen and figure out if they're using one manufacturer or more. Um, in general, we can expect that price to be right around twenty dollars. And um, the digitizer, uh, again, probably in the in the ten to twelve dollar range. You can expect it to be somewhere in around the fifteen to sixteen dollar range for the NAND flash storage, that um, that sixteen gigs. And then when you upgrade to the next size, like 32 gigs, expect that to more than double the cost of that memory, and then up to 64, probably more than double that again. And one of the biggest question marks is going to be on the, the application processor, which is Apple's first crack at its own processor, the Apple A4. There's, no, it's, there's not one available to anyone else. Apple makes its own and, and buys it from itself effectively. And that could be anywhere from probably a 30 you know 25 to 30 dollars per piece or it could be all the way up to around 50 dollars per piece if you wanted to spec everything out um, you know 100 150 different components or more that you would that you could price out that would uh, uh, you know end up figuring into the final um, assignable cost but um, all those typically carry a much lower cost per piece um, so overall we, we think that the, the, the cost estimate of the major parts is going to be, um, you know, on a percentage basis in line with, with the iPhone 3GS. So they had just over 50% gross margin on the 3GS. 40 to 60% of the retail c- price has been their cost on building a new device. Just the surface look says, suggests that they're going to stay in that same margin on this device. Mm-hmm.